Hi everyone, hope you're doing fantastic. Today I'd like to talk about action, the power of execution. Yes, talk is cheap, you know it and I know it. Many people, they just talk. When it comes to action, they come short. Why? Because they don't understand the simple rules of the power of execution. I'd like to share with you a book that I read three, four years ago that was recommended by a friend called The Four Disciplines of Execution. Discipline number one is about focusing on wildly important goals. The WIG, W-I-G. You know, we all have goals. We get distracted. We are over, overwhelmed with distractions in life, emails, social media, and everything else around us. All of a sudden, everything grabs our attention. But what wildly important goal does when you are focusing on one or two important goals in your life, you are giving all your energy to it and you are more effective. Imagine you are working in an airport and you want to direct the plane land, right? If you are distracted with 10 other planes, you're not going to be successfully helping that plane land. The reality is the most important plane for you that day, the wildly important goal you have is that one plane to safely land. In life and business, it's the same thing. Yes, we can have 10 different goals and be very average in all of them, or we can focus on wildly important goals. So I, I really love this first discipline identifying your wildly important goal, your week. Number two is focusing on lead measures, the activities that brings results, income producing activities, those activities that bring results in life. Yes, we all can be busy. We all get busy in life. Everybody goes home exhausted, but how many people they go home even though they are a little bit exhausted, but they're happy, they have that sense of fulfillment, that the day was productive, was super productive. You know, the difference is they're focusing on effectiveness. They're focusing on income producing activities. They're focusing on activities that takes them closer to their goal. Number three is the scoreboard. Everybody needs to look at the scorecard daily. I don't know about you, but every night before I go to bed, I want to revisit my entire day and look at my scorecard. And the reason is because at night when I'm sleeping, I'm thinking about my entire day, right? My subconscious mind already evaluating my work. And I come up with some of the solutions even while I'm asleep. And that is a good thing. That's a good habit. So focus on leading measures, not just lagging measures. The difference between leading measures and lagging measures are on the leading measures, you focus on the activities that are gonna bring you results. Let's say if you wanna lose weight, is the outcome, is the lag measure. Activities daily, you know, your eating habits, exercising and everything else, those are your leading measures. So most of the time we want to focus on the outcome rather than the activities. Lastly, it's all about accountability culture. Positioning yourself in an environment with people who can hold you accountable. Yes, so discipline number one is wildly important goal. Identify the goal. Discipline number two, focus on leading measures, activities. Discipline number three, look at the scoreboard daily. Discipline number four, create and position yourself in an accountability culture. And with that, you're going to improve your execution results. Now, I want to finish by this. Practice the four disciplines I just shared with you. You will be overwhelmed. You will be amazed with the outcome. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. God bless you guys. I love you.